Hello and welcome. In this advanced 2025 GE tutorial, we'll walk through a complete land use and land cover classification workflow using Sentinel-2 imagery and a random forest classifier in Google Earth Engine. Let's begin. Step 1. Define area of interest and classes. We start by defining our area of interest, labeled as AWI, and several geometry layers that represent different land cover classes. These include water, vegetation, cultivation, built-up, cloud, sand, and bare land. These geometries were manually created using the geometry drawing tool in Earth Engine. Step 2. RGB Visualization Parameters Next, we define the RGB visualization style. This sets up how we'll visualize Sentinel-2 images in true color. Step 3. Load Sentinel-2 Image Collection we load Sentinel-2 harmonized data using the following filter settings. Dates. From October 1st to December 30th, 2024. Less than 20% cloud cover. Filtered by the area of interest. We also apply a cloud masking function and clip the images to the AOI. Then we compute the median to get a clean composite. Step 4. Add spectral indices and select bands 130. We use a custom select bands function to calculate several important indices. NDVI vegetation. NDBI built up areas. MNDWI water. NDSLI soil and land surface. We then select bands including B4, B3, B2, B8, B11, B12, and all the indices for classification. Step 5. Prepare sample points. We merge all geometry layers into a single sample collection and assign a random value to each point. Then we split it into training data, 80%, testing data, 20%. This helps us validate the accuracy of our model later. Step 6. Extract pixel values. We use the dot sample regions function to extract pixel values from the image for both training and testing sets using a 10 meter scale. Seven train random forest classifier. We use Earth Engine's smile random forest function with 50 trees to train the model using the training sample. Step 8. Accuracy Assessment. We classify the test data using the train model and then generate a confusion matrix. We also calculate overall accuracy, kappa coefficient. These metrics help evaluate model performance. Step 9. Apply classification. Now we classify the full image using the train model. The result is stored as LULC, our final land use and land cover map. We also add a classification legend using dot set. Step 10, add legend. We create a custom legend panel to display the class colors and labels. 
The legend includes colors for vegetation, dark green, cultivation, light green, water blue, urban red, cloud white, sand beige, bare land, gray. This is positioned at the bottom left of the map. Studio Microphone Step 11 Export to Google Drive We use the export.image.todrive function to export the classified image to our Google Drive. Step 12, at Swipe Comparison UI. Finally, we create a swipe-based split screen using the UI.split panel method. The left map displays the RGB composite. The right map shows the classified LULC result. This lets us visually compare before and after. That wraps up our full workflow for land use classification using Sentinel-2 and Random Forest in Google Earth Engine. Check the video description for full code. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments. Like this video. Subscribe for more Earth Engine tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.